Rick Foster. Well, welcome to Rick Uncork 365. Thank you so much for turning to this channel and watching all of my videos and subscribing. And thank all of you for reaching out to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. I want to thank you so much for your support. I'm having so much fun bringing you these wine tastings, and I hope that you are enjoying and getting something out of this. Now, today, we have a unique wine that um, has incredible labeling. It's called, it's, it's from the Michael David Winery, and they have a series of wines called The Freak Show. They've got wines called The Ink Spot and Earthquake. Th their labels are phenomenal. Not only the labels, but their website is a must go to. They have one of the most unique and interactive websites I've seen from a winery. Now, as I mentioned before, the wine industry or wine sales is a half a trillion dollars a year in sales. Combined with accessories and restaurant menu pairings and such, it's actually a trillion dollar industry. And each one of the wineries that produce, produces these wines as part of that trillion dollar industry tries to entice the buyers to purchase the wines by creating these incredible elaborate you know embossed type of labels and you know anything that they can do to get to catch the buyer's eye to sell more wines now we're starting to see a new trend in some of the wine labels where they're actually becoming interactive so a lot of them now have a qvc or qvr uh, code and if you click on it on your cell phone it'll actually come to life and tell you a narrative about the label uh, the 19 criminals from Australia is doing more it gives you where the label actually starts to speak to you through the web um, app or from the cell phone or iPhone app as the prisoner who of the 19 prisoners is found in Australia. This one here is in the likes of a freak show or a circus. This label has two elephants drinking and toasting a glass of wine. Now the wine that we're going to try today is a Petit Shiraz. Now what actually makes this unique is the Michael David Winery. So Michael and David Phillip, so they're sixth generation farmers from Lodi, California. And their you know, ancestors in 1865 came to Lodi on a homestead and began farming. And then they started to produce wines. Lodi is producing some wonderful wines right now because they have some of those old, old vines that they're able to uh, utilize. Now this is a Petit Shiraz, so it is a 85% Petit Shiraz. It is a Petit that you don't see a lot of. It's a varietal from Bordeaux, France. And you really don't see that introduced into a lot of the California Petit Shiraz. Now, I did try this wine once before and I was very impressed with it. The other thing is this wine is aged 14 months in new French oak. So the barrel is that of a new French oak. So it is going to have a little bit of a toaster. They've toasted it, but the barrel itself is fairly new. It um, hasn't really been used. Um, and it's going to give off a little bit more of a sweet, um, sweet and maybe vanilla tones. Now I'm expecting this to be um, a rich ruby red as I pour it. And I'm expecting it to have a lot of fruit forward in that Petit Syrah from Lodi. I've been noticing it having, instead of like a rich plum uh, smell and f taste, it's more of a blackberry. Um, I'm gonna give this a try and let you know what I think here. It's a beautiful color. That is absolutely a gorgeous crimson red color that, that has come out of that. Mmm, smells fantastic. It's very fruit forward, very berries. So I'm not getting that, that um, earthy fruit like the plums or, you know, apricots or anything like that. I'm getting, getting berries. Mm. 
Now that is a very rich, full flavored, bold petite Syrah. Now, if you drink a lot of petite Syrahs, a lot of them can be a little bit on the light side, almost like a Pinot Noir. It's closer to a light Cabernet, and that's coming from that Lodi grape. That Lodi grape, it tends to be a little heartier, have a little bit more juice in the, in the grape production. It tends to be a little bit more, more tannins, which this has, and then that oak barreling has brought that down. So it has, it has neutralized a lot of the tannins and the acidic. So I have a very nice blend, but I'm tasting a lot of the oak. It's a dry wine. So I'm hit in the beginning with kind of a sweet blackberry currant taste. And then in the back end, I've got that dry oak uh, flavoring with just a hint of the, of the toast on it. I don't taste much of the vanilla from that um, French oak barrel but I do taste the oak in the back end that brings that sweetness down to a dry, neutral level. I would say this is a very well-balanced um, Petite Syrah, and I got this bottle on sale for $14. On the website, it sells for $18, and in the restaurant, it's around $45. Well, I hope that you go and check out their website, if anything. It's a fascinating website they have at Michael David Winery. And also, I hope that you pick up a bottle and give it a try. Cheers.